Okay, I'm taking Sarah to the vet. Um, need to find out for sure what's going on and how many babies she's got. Poor little Jovi, I don't know if you can see him in the back. Um, he's crying out, he's already wanting Sarah. But anyway, here we go, taking her to the vet. <laughs> So I was hoping to video Sarah at the vets, but it all happened so quick and <laughs> oops, just about dropped the phone there. Um, yeah, it happened all so quick and I just decided I needed to concentrate on Missy and just see what was going on and listen to what the vet had to say. She is definitely pregnant and is consistent with the date that was given to me and she'll probably be, well, she's not probably due in a month's time. She will be due in a month's time. I am way behind on my videos with YouTube. I'm probably going to be doing a, a dump of a lot of videos. So who knows when this will actually be uploaded. But anyway, so today is the 22nd of March and she will be due around the um, uh, 19th of April. So about a month's time. It's going to be pretty exciting. So, um, yeah, this will be my first time um, assisting, watching, waiting for kids to come onto Hosanna Homestead, our first um, births on the homestead, which is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, and the vet did confirm that Mr. Oki, Mr. Oki, little fatty will have to be removed definitely because he is such a bully he is scubbing all the food which I suspected anyway because of the way he's been bullying little Jovi next priority is getting this one in his own caged pen area over here so and but Jovi can actually stay with Sarah. So I explained to the vet how young Jovi is and he is actually really pairing up with Sarah look, like a mother figure, I guess, a mum figure. That's what it seems to look like. So little Jovi can actually stay in the pen with Sarah. Obviously, I'm not going to let him near her when she's ready to kid but um she can he can stay so he definitely will be okay and safe from this one um yeah they've all got their own little personalities and I, as much as he is a nibbler and sucks on my clothes like turn your back and he sucked the death out of my strap my overall strap anyway um what else it looks like it's going to come over um storm well it is coming over stormy here looks like we're going to get some rain i hope it doesn't actually bypass us because we really need rain here on hosanna homestead like even over there hopefully oh <sighs> i had to get the march fly off of nala <laughs> poor thing <laughs> Poor thing there. She had a bit of a blood spot on her nose. And I think it was from a March fly. Um, biting, sucking her nose. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to get going and do some washing. Might be a bit pointless considering it's going to rain. But I... Sorry to spin you around. I want to use our new... Hills hoist clothesline. So I'm going to be doing washing old school. Yep, with my hands. So, and then get it out on the line. So I'm videoing this on a little bit of an angle because it's sitting on top of the water tank. Um, I use the water from when I've showered. I put the bucket underneath me when I'm having a shower to capture the water. And because it's so dusty here, I'm doing a first wash in that showered water. 
just to get off the excess dirt and you know whatever else and then I'll change the water out and um, uh, do it in some clean water and then hang it on the line so nothing goes to waste here even our showered water will be used for our washing so it's what we've got to do to conserve the water around here is utilize it in every which way we can so first rinse oops you didn't need to see my knickers get dust off some light things in here i'll just swish them it around for a little bit really need one of those washing board things my nana used to have one the things you think of once you know you're living off-grid and you're not relying on any technology any electricity you know takes you back to the times of your grandparents hey and great-grandparents well it does for me anyway but anyway, I'm just going to keep going with this. You don't need to see me washing all my clothes. But I'm trying to do this as quick as I can because I do think it's going to pour soon, which is fantastic. I'm looking forward to a bit of um, wet weather around here. Some Seeing some rainfall. But it'll be good also because I want to see where the water pulls up and... Um, where the problems are to get on top of it before the real wet season uh, kicks in. But anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Right, this makes me so happy. No more contending with a clothes horse on the ground, but the wind can now flap through my clothes. <sighs> yep, yep, yep very satisfying feeling my clothes still feel a little slimy from the detergent even after a second rinse but I wasn't going to waste any more water and considering um, that is coming for us I'm just really hoping it will dump down and give it an extra rinse I was getting close to having no clothes left well, I do have more clothes, but they're in boxes and I haven't unpacked them and I haven't got to them. I've been too busy. So these, is, these are the ones that I could quickly grab and pop in a bag um, to wear. So now I'm going to have some clean clothes. Yay! But anyway, just wanted to share a victory, a victory. I just want to share something absolutely amazing. So before I said that there are um, very dark thunderclouds coming over and it was going to pour here. And I was looking up and all I could see was the thunderclouds, uh, the dark clouds going past like either side of the property. So I stood out there and I said, Father Yehovah, you have said that when we ask in your son's name, Yeshua, that you will deliver, you will answer and you'll hear our prayer. Well, I'm asking for rain. The thunderclouds are going around me. Why aren't they pouring out here? And then I came and, you know, made my dinner and was going to sit down to eat my dinner and I could hear some droplets on the tarp that you can see the um, canvas tarp above me. And I'm like, is that rain? So I continued doing my dinner, mate, finishing off my dinner. And then, it, and I said, yes, that's rain. Nala, that is rain. And anyway, I came out into the open just out there. And, and I said, Father, I'm grateful. Thank you so much for this rain. But I need more. Pour out this rain. Pour out rain on this property. I need the plants wet. I need rain to, to make the ground wet to for the plants to soak up the water all of this so i need water on the property because there's no uh, mains on the property here and then the drops got heavier and they were faster and tears with my hands raised asking 
him to pour out Rome, it started pouring. And tears just welled up and rolled down my face because he is a faithful God and he answers prayer. He heard my heart and he saw my tears and he answered my prayer. So I'm going to give him a victory shout. Well, I said I wanted it to rain to re-rinse my clothes. Um, yeah, it certainly is. Whew. I'm certainly seeing where the problem areas are. I've just been moving these bricks just to create a channel so it can go out that way. Instead of here, I need to block this one off because I'm raising the dirt up in here that's what that dirt pile is for. Um, so I've got to stop that one and recreate a new one to divert the water down the hill. And that is all going into the creek down the end of the property. But um, yeah, over here, it's certainly building up. Need to deal with this don't know what to do there yet but anyway not worried just yet but anyway um yeah see so water's done to fill up i've just got to move those last little bricks and then there's some more water under here but yay the plants are all getting a really good soaking and it's not this is about the heaviest it's actually getting let me go back over here um, so it's not pouring, pouring. At least the plants are getting a soak. Well, at least I hope they are. Glorious rain. Glorious rain. Love it. Um, the barrel's filling up. No doubt the water tanks are filling up. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I just can't wait for this shelter to be done. Um, that's as far as Greg had got with it. Um, he needs a taller ladder to get up here. And then we need to remove this and push the caravan back. Oh, it's a shame we didn't get it done. But I can't wait because then we can remove this. And there will be an, you know, a lot of shelter under here. And then we we'll, can just see where the new problem areas will be. But anyway, getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there. Okay, a bit of a drowned rat here. Um, I've been working in the rain, digging out this channel here. So I've been moving this dirt as well um, under here just to raise it up a bit which is what I always intended to do because I've got pavers um, on this side over here already and I just need to do the rest over here. But however, with all the downpour that we've just had, I've needed to do this channel for water to go out that way. I'm satisfied with that and now why it has stopped raining, I'm going to move this bale of hay and this is how you do it. Yes, because I can't lift that on my own. So I piled it up of things and I'm going to go and take it over under the, um, there's a bit of a, um, a lean-to on the other side, loft maybe in America, you would say. And um, some other hay is over there. 
but I want to put this trolley over there for easy access because my routine is open the chickens up in the morning, grab some food, then for the goats, open up the goats. So on the way from the chickens, I'll grab some of the oat and hay to give them on the way to feed them. Anyway, I've got to move this while it's not raining. Here we go. So this is outside my caravan um, window. <laughs> the poor quails, they would be definitely getting some splashback of the rain. There's water everywhere. Poor goats, I probably should go and check up on them. Love the rain. Well, a lot of the tanks will be um, getting full. <coughs> That's for sure. A lot of the barrels. I just can't pump any water out into the IBC totes because um, my battery on the pump is dead or flat. I should go out the other way. I just thought I'd show you out in the garden. The plants are definitely getting a water, a watering. The plants are definitely getting a watering, that's for sure. Look, the tank's even overflowing here. See? It's full. Well, today is such a dismal day. Um, no sun has been out today. It's been like this since I've woken up this morning. Um, today is the 28th of March. That's it. <laughs> I had to remember what it was. I think it's the 28th or 29th. But anyway, um, so there's nothing I can do today other than I'm going to do some paving. At least it's protected under here and I can at least do something. I don't want to do nothing. So I want to keep busy and get those pavers down here. So at least something is done today and I've achieved something. The poor goats. I'm hoping. I can't even see them. I can't even see them at all. So I'm hoping they're okay. The chooks will be fine. They're always out in the rain. I don't know. They're no, probably not. Uh, I don't know if you can see. But anyway. Um... I haven't even checked on the quails, so I'm hoping that they're at least dry. But, and it's not even winter yet. At least the creek will be getting full. It's all flowing down to the bottom. 